If you're looking for an easy way to go live on your social media platforms while also utilizing cool features in your live stream, then StreamYard is the way to go. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on exactly how to set up your live stream, add in guests, do cool transitions, and so much more. Let's get into it. You gotta just press record. The very first thing you need to do is go to StreamYard.com or you can go to StreamWithThink.com if you want to pick up a 14-day free trial or just use the link down in the description of this video. Now, once you're on the page, it's going to look something like this. And on this left-hand side, you're gonna have some different options. First of all, we have broadcasts. And here is where you can actually set up your live stream. Beneath that, we have destinations. And this is where you want to set up your YouTube channel, your Facebook page, whatever it is you're going live on. This is where you're going to set that up. StreamYard makes this super simple. Just click on whatever it is you're trying to connect and you can connect multiple different social media platforms and even go live on multiple at once. So you can do Facebook, and YouTube at the same time. And to the left, underneath destinations, we have members, and this is where you can invite other people on your team if you want them to have control to go live or help you out on the back end of your live streams too. Now that we're ready to actually set up a live stream, let's go back to broadcast. And now we are going to create an upcoming live stream that we are going to set up. So we're gonna hit the create button, and now we have three different options. For this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up a live stream. And then from here, if you're going live, this is the button you're gonna to wanna to click. After that, you wanna set up your destination. So I'm gonna select the Nolan Molt YouTube channel that I connected to it. Now, once you fill in your title and your description, under privacy, you could set it as public, unlisted, or private. Now, at first, I thought that public was just going to automatically go live on my channel. That's not the case, so don't be scared if you select public. And then what I wanna do is schedule my live stream. And that's this button right here, which is schedule for later. And now at this point, I can upload a thumbnail and I can also choose the time to start this live stream. Now I'm gonna hit create broadcast and then it's gonna load. It's gonna bring me back out to all of my broadcasts. If I have multiple scheduled, they're all gonna be right here. And then what we wanna do when we're ready to go live and we're getting ready for that, we're gonna enter the studio. And so I'm gonna enter the studio right now. Now in this page, we can dial in some of the settings on our live stream. So we have this mute button if we want to enter the studio muted, we can unmute ourselves, we can stop the camera, start the camera. But where you wanna to go to is to the settings button. So we're gonna hit settings and then you're gonna see it automatically opens up camera. Now, if you have a camera plugged into your computer to live stream with, all you need to do is click this button and then select that camera. It makes it super easy and it's going to look great. And then you can change your camera resolution. If you're using the free version of StreamYard, you can go live at 720p, but if you use our link down in the description, you can actually upgrade to 1080 HD and this is going to look even better while you're live. Once we're done with the camera, go up to general and you wanna make sure that your broadcast quality is as high as possible. Again, change that to 1080. Once you download our free two week trial, you can go ahead and use that. But if not, leave that at 720. And then for all of these, I like to leave those checked and we'll kind of get into that a little bit later. And then we're gonna go down to audio. And this is where you can test your microphone, make sure it sounds good, make sure it's actually connected to your computer before going live. So just like choosing a camera, you're gonna hit this down arrow and you're gonna find the right microphone you want to choose. For me, it's the Deity microphone, so I will select that one. And then I'm gonna choose the speakers that I want to select. For me, the default is perfect. These are my computer speakers. And then I like to leave echo cancellation checked on. If you're using speakers, you really wanna make sure this is checked and this is going to eliminate eliminate any sort of echo. It does a very good job just picking up your own voice. Underneath the audio, we have virtual background. And if you have a green screen, this is going to work a lot better, but you could blur the background. You could even set up different backgrounds, or you could actually upload your own image and use that as your background in your live streams, which is a pretty cool feature to have. Under here, we have recordings, and this is a really cool feature, which basically allows you to locally record the video that you're recording and the video that your guests are recording during the live stream on your computer separately. So that way, if maybe you're talking over each other or you want to edit it later in post-production, then you can do that. And you have a lot more flexibility because now you have separate audio tracks and you have separate video tracks for each person. And then finally, we have guests, and there's some really cool options under here. At the very top, we have guests, 
can stream this to their own destinations. This is a new feature. Let's say I'm going live with Omar and maybe he's on his personal account. He could live stream to his own YouTube channel or to his own Facebook page. And this allows you to really reach a bigger audience if you want to live stream with the person that you're interviewing or with the person that is in your video as well. But from there, we have basically dialed in all of our settings when it comes to entering the studio. So now what we want to do is click on this big blue button right here, enter the studio, and this is where we get to have a ton of fun with it. So now that we're inside of the studio, this is kind of your home base. This is what it's going to look like. This is where you're going to live when you are going live. And so I want to show you around and show you everything you need to know, all the cool features and how to actually use them for your live streams. Now, the first thing I like to do is actually get myself up on the screen. So I'm going to hit add to stream. And as other guests actually come into the stream, you're going to be able to add them as well, or you can remove them just by hitting that remove button. Now, right here, we see this present button, and this is going to allow us to share a screen or even share slides. And so when you select this, you have the slides option. If you want to actually add in certain slides, let's say I'm going to do this editing presentation. I can easily add in these slides here. If we open that back up, you see there's also an option for adding in an extra camera. So if you want to set up two cameras on yourself, you can actually switch those live, which is pretty cool. And you can add in a video file. If you want to showcase a video or some sort of ad, and you can just upload that right there under the video file. Now at the bottom, we have share screen, and this is a really cool feature that I love, which makes it really easy to share your screen. And now I have a live stream where I can go on my YouTube channel. Maybe I can do channel reviews. I can check out other people's YouTube channels. I can check out blog articles. And so really there's a lot that you can do with this screen sharing feature. Now I want to show you one of my favorite features with StreamYard and it makes it really easy to do cool transitions and move stuff around and showcase other people. And that's using these buttons down here. If I want to say, put myself in this bottom left-hand corner, I simply just press that button and automatically moves me into the bottom hand corner. And now I have a little bit more flexibility. Let's say I want to get rid of myself completely then I can just hit this button and now I can go live just showcasing whatever it is that I'm sharing on my screen or we can click this one. I like to use this one a lot when I have slides. And so I'm going to hover over this. I'm going to add my slides. And this is one of my favorite previews for when I am presenting and showcasing these slides. And let's say I want to get rid of my slides. All I need to do is click on this button where it just showcases me and you have that cool little transition and it just swipes off the screen and you're good to go. Now moving over to the far right hand side of the screen. First off, we have brand, which basically this is the look of your live stream. Let's start off with the brand color. All you need to do is select this little box and you can choose down here what color you want to choose for your live stream under here we have theme and this gives you different looks for the text on screen so here's bubble which i think is pretty cool we have classic we have minimal and you can see a cool little transition there and there's also blocks. Now that I'm in the paid version of StreamYard, there's a whole lot more options. So for example, if you wanna just take off this logo, you can select it once, it's gonna disappear. You can also add in your own logo or whatever kind of show that you're doing. You have the option to add a bit of branding here in the corner. Scrolling down a little bit more, you're gonna see overlay, and this gives you the chance to kind of promote maybe a certain bonus that you're offering. It's a really cool way to do announcements and showcase some different things that you are trying to get out there by using this overlay feature. Under that, we're gonna have video clips, and this is where you're able to add in maybe a countdown or some sort of ad read or whatever video it is that you wanna show during your live stream. All you need to do is hit add video clip, and then you're able to choose a video to upload so that you can show it simply by hovering over it and click the show button. Underneath backgrounds is where we're able to mess around with this background color that you see when you have multiple guests on or when you're sharing slides. You often will see the background, and you can change that to different colors. We can do purple rain, blue wallpaper, and there's a few built-in ones that StreamYard has that are really good. You can just leave it as black. You could also add in your own background, and this is a great way to add your own branding to the live stream. The comment section is really cool because it allows you to see all the comments that are coming in. So if you're multi-streaming to Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube, you're gonna be able to see the comments and where they're actually coming in from, what platform it was commented on, and then you can showcase this on the 
live stream, this is great for Q and A's, or if you wanna highlight someone who's in the live stream, this is an awesome feature that we use almost every single time we go live. Now, if there's multiple people in your live stream and you wanna communicate with them specifically, don't do this under the comments. You actually wanna to go to the bottom here to private chat, and now you can actually communicate with all the people who are going to be inside of your live streams, and you can chat with them privately behind the scenes, and it's not gonna be public to everyone. Now, the last section on this right-hand side is banners. These banners are really cool, and we use them all the time to shout out different things that are happening. You see this cool little animation that pops up, and then you can hide it, and it just pops right back down. And this really is a simple and fun way to shout out different things during your live stream. Now, before you go live, you might want to invite a guest onto the show. And this button down here where it says invite is how you do this. And you can see right here, it's super, super easy. All you need to do is copy this link and then send it to the person that is going to show up on camera and they don't even need to create an account or do any of that. From there, you can let them onto the live stream and continue your podcast or interview live stream. Once you're ready to go live, I recommend doing a few things first. The first thing is going into this edit section right here and making sure that you are streaming to the correct destination. You wanna double check your title, description, the thumbnail, all that stuff, make sure it's good to go. And then under privacy, if it's not public already and scheduled, you wanna change this to either public or you wanna change it to unlisted. If you change it to public, this is going to be a public live stream for all of your followers. If you do wanna do some sort of private link live stream with just a few people, you can actually do unlisted and then you can send them the YouTube link and this is going to be a private live stream that only people who have access to that link are going to be able to watch. For most of us out there, we're gonna do a public live stream. And so this all looks perfect. You're gonna hit save changes. And from here, you're ready to go live. Now, when you hit this blue button, here StreamYard prompts you ready to go live. And you wanna double check the broadcast quality, make sure that it's good to go. We want 1080 HD because that is the best possible one that we can do. And then local recordings, you can turn that on or off. For me, I like to leave these on because typically we like to edit down these live streams for different platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and even YouTube. YouTube videos as well. Now there's a few options. You can record audio and video or you can record audio only. For us, we want to record the audio and video of each person in the live stream separately. So from here, everything's good to go. We're gonna hit go live and that is going to make us live to everyone. All right, and now you're gonna see this pop-up that says you are live. You're gonna see this live in the top left-hand corner. And it's also gonna have a little timer up here so you can see how long you've been going live for. And then when you're ready to wrap up your live stream, all you need to do is go up here and hit end broadcast. And then you have to click it one more time. That way you don't accidentally end it when you didn't mean to. So it's gonna ask you end the broadcast and you will hit the red button. And that is going to take about a few seconds to load. And then once it's done, you're gonna see it's ended. And now when I exit out of this and I return to the dashboard, you're gonna see that this live stream is now going to be in our past live streams, which is right here. So if you wanna go in, you want to download the recordings, you can hit these three buttons right here to download that. You could also share it or you could view what it looks like on YouTube. Now, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with getting started with live streaming, click on the screen and check out this video where we're gonna walk you through some of the beginning steps to get you started with live stream. And we'll see you guys in the next video.